Submissionem and Bredan, or submissive and breathable as it is often known as today, are two words commonly used in today's society. However, many people throw these words around not knowing their true meaning, origin, and their proper use. Originating in the late 14th century, the old French term submissionem is where we first see the word in action. At the time, this word was used to refer to an act in which a third party is included for judgment or decision. The use of the word submissionem came directly from the Latin term submissio, which was used to describe something being lowered, let down, or something sinking. This also went hand in hand with the other term submitiere, which was used to describe something being let down, put down, lowered, reduced, or yielded. As time went on, however, this term was drastically changed in meaning, for, as we now know, the meaning of the word submissive means to obey or yield to somebody else. This, however, isn't as drastic as it may seem, for if we take a closer look, we can see the similarities in the modern day meaning for the word and the Latin meaning for the word. This is especially true for the word yield being a key, prominent factor when describing the meaning of both words. In modern day times, the term submissive is also an umbrella-like term. The reasoning for this is that the term submissive can be used and applied in many ways. A prime example of this is using the term submissive in a sexual or romantic way. When in a relationship, many feel the need to assign roles to keep the relationship stable. For example, some may prefer to be assigned the dominant role, whereas others may prefer to be assigned the more submissive role. Use of the word submissive in this situation alludes to, as previously stated, the specific partner's role when partaking in sexual or romantic activities. The meaning behind the word when referring to being submissive in a relationship varies slightly compared to the original and also carries a lot of responsibilities. For example, being submissive in a relationship means that you're always looking for somebody who is dominant and this will often include you being around somebody who takes a stronger leadership type role. Despite not having any specific scientific explanation as to why some people are submissive and why some people are dominant, many submissive people have come out and explained why they prefer to be submissive and tend to look for a more dominant, stronger role model. Whether it be due to neglect during childhood or to the lack of a father figure, the reason as to why many may class themselves as submissive varies wildly. Many will argue that it is just the way they were born or the path they have chosen. The word breedable has quite a complex past, with the original word being a mix of bredan, a word used in the mid-1550s by the Old English to describe any offspring or lineage of animal stock, and havel, a Latin Middle English word originating in the early 14th century. This word was used to describe something as being handy. Today, the two words have been modernised while also being given different meanings. For example, the new word bredan now means breed and it is often used to talk about animals procreating. Furthermore, the word able now means to have the power, skill, or means to do something. These two words were recently, in the year 2021, merged together to form the word breedable. This makes it a much more recent word with a lot less history when compared to the word submissive. This, however, doesn't stop them from being commonly used and having similar uses situationally. For example, the word submissive, as previously mentioned, is nowadays commonly used when in a romantic relationship and is used to describe a role played by one romantic partner to the other. The word breedable, whereas having a different use, is also commonly used in a romantic or sexual manner. The word breedable means to be a hot, desirable, or alluring person. When used in a common manner, you are essentially saying that somebody is so hot you would like to procreate with that person. Similarly to the term submissive, little to no studies have been done regarding the term breedable, as it is relatively new. However, some have come forward with their own theories. For example, one leading theory is that they may have a breeding kink. A breeding kink, for those who may not know, is the idea of becoming pregnant with your significant other's child. This is often used in a sexual manner, and people who have this breeding kink would like their significant other to impregnate them. Another theory is that men use the words as they know that they themselves cannot get pregnant, but can still carry a breeding kink, thus declaring themselves as breedable. The final leading theory is that the word is a self-degrading way to describe somebody else. In conclusion, the terms submissive and breedable have two very similar meanings with very different and complicated pasts. The term breedable being a relatively new term and being one that has risen to popularity over the past few months, I'm sure that there is a lot of time and research that needs to be put into further investigating the true roots of why people may call themselves breedable. Furthermore, a lot more research needs to be put forward into the minds of people who may deem themselves as being submissive. However, as it stands, the true meaning behind the minds of those who refer to themselves as submissive and breedable is just another mystery. I've been Monkey, and thank you for watching.